It's where lovers of the outdoors converge for three days of nothing but wildlife wonderment. We're talking about the 2021 Southeast Wildlife Expo. Joining us with details is Executive Director John Powell. And we're also joined by Mark Kelvin Corton, the Expo's featured artist. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thank All right, you. so John, uh, you were really lucky because see, we went off without a hitch this year, 2020. That was in February. Come March, life looked way, way different. Um, in a good year, John, maybe you can tell us what CWE offers its guests. Sure. So in a, in a, in a standard CWE year, um, we have about 40,000 people that descend upon Peninsula Charleston. Um, and they visit five different exhibit sites. Um, and they, they look at everything from outdoor uh, demonstrations to live presentations and to the core of our show, which is uh, world-class wildlife art. Right, and it generates a ton of money because people stay in hotels, they eat out. Uh, can you give us a number of the, the number, the revenue that is brought into the city because of the CUE? Sure, and, and it'll fluctuate over the years and it's grown over time, um, over 35 million in, in economic impact to the region. Um, you know, CUE, as people that come from all over the nation. So it has an impact on the state as well as the city of Charleston yeah. and 2.8 million in direct state and local taxes. That's incredible. Those are huge numbers. Now we're looking towards 2021. Things are have started reopening and it's looking a little bit more promising, but you've made some changes. Can you give people an idea of how things are going to be different? We can. Um, as you might imagine, our planning has to start relatively early. So you know, in March and April, um, when, when the world changed a bit, we had to look at what 2021 would, would look like. And so the, the show will be uh, more modest, a little bit smaller this year. We'll have a cap on the number of tickets for each day. Um, and we're going to follow the guidelines that are set forth by city, state, CDC to make sure that people can enjoy the show in a safe and comfortable manner. And a lot of that will happen on the um, Brittle Bank Park side of the peninsula, where we'll have outdoor entertainment um, exhibitors, educational entertainment for everyone. And then that'll be balanced with the Charleston Marriott across the street, which will house our wildlife artists. And the one thing that holds true is going to be those artists that are going to be exhibiting their wares. Now, uh, you, Mark, you are the featured artist for 2021, and you have two beautiful paintings behind you. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about yourself and and how you decided that wildlife was was the the type of art that you were interested in doing. Well, I moved to Charleston about 20 years ago, and. I grew up in North Carolina, rural North Carolina. I've always loved wildlife. I've always loved storms and skies, atmosphere. And this is the place to live if you like storms and skies and atmosphere. Uh, we got beautiful egrets, you know, in our all kinds of wildlife here. And my painting is kind of based on the idea of the, the hopefulness of uh, a storm passing over and light in the distance and a beautiful egret taking taking flight. Because in uh, fact, I think I can see a silver lining on the clouds behind you. Yes, and that's part of the message too. Yeah, yeah, and your paintings are just so beautiful. There's so much depth to them. Um, of course, you'll be joined by other artists as well. Uh, what is the conversation that the artists have amongst each other, um, and and especially the impact that Siwi has on what you do? Well, the, the the artists are one of the greatest things for each of us artists to, to be there. We have such a com camaraderie. And there's just great people, you know, sharing ideas and seeing other people's work from all over the world. And that's when I love that about the show. Yeah. And it sounds like the feature painting onward, that, yes. that's what's being featured. Is that what's behind you? That's one, the one with the, on the right with the big clouds, yes. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. Looking onward, leaving 2020 in our rearview mirror. Yes. Um, so among those changes, what are some of the, the consistent parts of the exhibit, John, are there going to be? Because people love their doc dogs. Sure. Well, we'll, we'll have their doc dogs and we'll okay. have retriever demonstrations and we'll have uh, familiar exhibitors and we're going to have world class art. You're just going to see it on a smaller scale um, so that people can space out and, and enjoy things at, at a pace that, that suits them and is, and is safe. But I would say um, it will it will look and feel like seaweed. It is seaweed. Um, you know, we we pivot and change just like everyone else. But Mark spoke to the camaraderie. It, it trickles down and exists among our corporate partners. Um, those that have that have said they're behind us and fully funding um, this year's show, and, and we're going to move forward. And 
our exhibitors, our attendees, the staff that works each year. It's a it's a really special thing we do, and so um, we had to set our sights on a 2021 that that we could pull off. Wonderful. All right, 2021 Siwi. It's happening February 12th through the 14th. These events they last all day long. You're going to have food, fun sun and wonderful art and gentlemen i want to thank you so much um where should people go when the t tickets go on sale to seaweed.com s-e-w-e.com and they'll they'll be available here in the next few weeks um along with the with the new website and um all ticket sales will be online this year so get right. them get them when you can get them while they're hot they're <laughs> hot and they're not going to last forever gentlemen i want to thank you so much for joining us thank you thank you we're back after this